Hi, I'm Chad Demo, the Mill Creek Minnow. Today I'm going to show you how to tie a variation of Bob Quigley's film critic. This pattern is a great representation of an emerging mayfly, and it's important to fish emergers because it's the stage where it's caught between a nymph and hatching into a dun, and it's incredibly vulnerable at that time, and trout really key in on them. And if you're like me and you like to sight fish with a dry fly to feeding trout, this this will fool even the pickiest trout. So there's two parts to the tail. I use a tan poly yarn for the trailing shuck, and then a couple of uh, dun microfibers for the tail. The body is a stripped peacock curl. In this case, it's dyed yellow because this is a pale morning dun. And I show you how to strip the fuzz off of this in my Mill Creek soft tackle video, so you can check that out. Uh, the post is a white poly yarn, and we're going to wrap a medium dun hackle around that post, and then we're going to pull it over a thorax which is made of yellow super fine dry fly dubbing. So here we go. Okay, I've already got a size 16 curve shank hook in the vise. I'm going to wrap in some 8 aught tan thread. And I'm going to tie in about 8 or 9 strands of tan poly yarn. This is going to represent the trailing shuck as this is an emerger pattern. Wrap that back. And I tie it in extra long so that I can maneuver it out of the way when I tie in the next section of the tail, which is done microfibers. I'm wrapping underneath them to lift them up and I'm going to come back around and I'm going to wrap in between them to split them. That looks good. Now I'm going to tie in some dyed yellow peacock curl which I've stripped all the fuzz off of. and I'm just going to wrap forward. Trim off all this excess material. And this is going to be another one of those patterns where you catch a ton of fish with, so I'm going to come in with some head cement on top of this thread base. And this will lend the fly some durability. Spread that out a little bit with a needle. And I'm just going to wrap up that peacock curl in nice tight even wraps. Which will give it a really nice segmented body. Tie that off. I'm going to trim down my trailing shuck. It's about half the length of the tail. Now I'm going to tie in some white poly yarn. Hit it with two or three wraps, pull it back and hit it with a couple wraps in front. I'm going to trim this back section off at about an eighth of an inch. I'm going to grab a done hackle. I'm going to strip it down a little bit, give myself a place to tie it in.
And I'm going to take that poly yarn and the hackle, pull them both up, and I'm going to start making wraps up that poly yarn with my thread, creating a post. You'll want to wrap up until you can pull it forward and your thread sits right behind the eye of the hook. So I think that looks pretty good so I can start to wrap it back down. I'm going to take my hackle and wrap it back down the post. Tie it off. And this is the perfect time to stop and take a drink, drinking a Black Butte Porter. Okay, so now I'm going to come in and I'm going to twist on my yellow super fine dry fly dubbing. Gonna build up a nice thorax. Now I'm going to grab this poly yarn, pull it up, I'm going to stroke back all of the hackle fibers and bring this forward towards the eye of the hook. Catch it with a couple wraps. And I'm going to pull that yarn back, hit a couple wraps in front to create a head. Then I'm going to whip finish. Trim out my thread. Then I'm going to grab a black sharpie and I'm going to color in this poly yarn right above the tips of the hackle fibers. Turn that off. And there you have an outstanding Pale Morning Dunny merger. I also tie this in olive and I do a tan and a brown and I tie the brown in a size 12 for the larger March Browns that we have here on the West Coast.